path. The land of my birth. Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. I'm gonna play part 3 now. So, before I go start the chapter, chapter part 3. Venti's here. <laughs> I wonder it didn't answer. Okay. Uh back to the golden apple. Right, let's start part three. I hope this won't be too complicated. Oh yeah, before that. I kind of want to just keep playing with the four main characters here, so... Oh yeah, rock on! Fisher. In the name of the princessin! And one... Uh... This is how it must be. And maybe I'll change some artifacts, just borrow for a while. <laughs> maybe Fisher's one. Maybe I'll borrow Raiden's one temporary. <laughs> yeah, okay, temporary. Eh? <laughs> the rest will be fine, I think. Okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah, that's why you couldn't see that the sun's in your eye. I trust you slept well. Well enough. It sounds like the same story for everyone. I got up first today, so I took a walk around and picked some fruits for our breakfast. And Paimon's been waiting for you to get up so she can finally dig in. <laughs> oh yeah, Kazuha is doing breakfast. Oh, she's just not here. Yeah, she seemed unwilling to stay with us. She said she had some other work to do for the Adventurers Guild. Uh. A likely story. What happened to coming yeah. here to restore the <laughs> glory of the Immernachtreich? Now she has guild work to do all of a sudden? Judging by that look on her face, there was probably something on her mind. We tried sending Mona to comfort her like before. But she said Mona doesn't understand the work of the Adventurers Guild and can't go with her. <laughs> she didn't even make up some excuse about the Immer Nachtreich to get some time alone? Huh. That's out of character for her. Then she must be feeling quite troubled. I'd love to help her as a friend. But she was right about one thing. We're going to explore another island today. Yep. Votes are in. It's unanimous. But for Oh, yeah, about that. Come on, went ahead and voted for you. She said since you're always together, her opinion counts as yours and vice versa. <laughs> well, you're an adventurer after all. Time I knew you'd want to go exploring. Uh, okay. <laughs> Fischl said there's something she wants to investigate and suggested that we all go ahead in the meantime. She told me not to worry. She'll catch up with us when she's done. Despite her quirks, she's still an experienced adventurer. I think we should trust her. I haven't known her for long, so this is just an observation, but it seems like she's struggling with some internal conflict. Mm. That seems about right. In conflict with others, you either resolve it or let it be. But when the conflict is within yourself, it's much harder to do either. I've also had a time like that in my life, so I understand what she's going through. It may be best to give her some space. Does this mean Fisher's not following us? I agree. Still, it's a pity for today's adventure. Adventuring is always more fun when everyone's together. Shinyan always has great team spirit. Oh, one other thing. This morning, we saw a barrage on the island in the north. We can go take a look once you're done with your breakfast travel. Okay then, part two. But it seems like Fisher's not with us for some reason. 
Should I just continue <laughs> with Fisher? Let's see. Oh, already. Okay. This island looks pretty normal. I smell something burning on the wind. Uh, my sky glass is getting clearer, but I still can't see much. Hey, look what I found! It's a drum. Well, is it a drum or a plant? <laughs> An oh. instrument made of a plant. Hmm. Xinyan, do you think this could be your island? <laughs> oh, you mean this instrument could have been put here just for me? Okay, let me give it a try. So I guess we're going to Xinyan's domain. Uh, hold on. When I touched the rock garden in the bonsai yesterday, we were all transported to another space. Yeah. Xinyan, do you want to take some time first to get ready? Well, you're right, but it's all good. I'm always ready to make some music. <laughs> so I guess... Yep, alright, so I guess this is Xinyan's domain. Wonder what it's like. Probably music. <laughs> well, Paimon just got a mouthful of dirt! <laughs> Paimon, are you okay? Just as we thought. We've been sent to another place. Uh, doesn't Why it? Why does this place feel so bleak? <laughs> Shinyan, are you sure this is your mirage? I think so, yeah, but you're right. Why is it, Why so, is it so bleak here? Look, there's something really bright over there. It's almost like it's inviting us to go check it out. Okay, let's go have a look. Wait, wait, wait! This is too obvious! Surely it's gotta be a trap! Well, it's not really traps in here. That well may be, but there's also nowhere else for us to go. If this mirage belongs to Xinyan, I don't think we'll find any traps here. <laughs> now you're talking. Yeah. You know that wouldn't be my style. Hmm. That makes sense. Huh. Alright, let's go then. But let's also make sure to be careful. Is this really Xinyan's domain? Because, uh... So, wasn't in Kazuha? Kazuha's not with us? But why Sinyan is still with us? Huh. Okay. What was this? Hit. Okay, but the drum shows that it's Sinyan's domain now. Let me just take a look around. Maybe I might miss the chest or something. Never know. <laughs> Guess not. Oh, so it's only okay. And let's go. So far nothing complicated yet. So I guess the drum is just to move these uh, move these things. Anything here? Follow the wind. Just not <laughs> just wanna take a look. Alright. Uh when the melodic harp is glowing it can be activated. An activated melodic harp will release sound waves that will cause melodic blooms with an AOE to fire notes. The notes fired off by a melodic bloom can be transferred to the next melodic bloom, okay. A bit like Kazuha domain, but it's uh, different. It's notes, uh. okay. So I fell this note, okay. So these. Uh, I cannot rotate there. Eh. I guess I have to perform. Okay. Time to go. Adjust. Okay, we have to adjust. Oh, no, no. Adjust to where? Oh. Oh, okay, 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 I get it. So, oh, yeah, here and then up there? Where does this go? I saw you sitting there. 
Okay, I see. Okay, okay. So far, nothing complicated. Uh, door. The door is locked. Do that thing when you turn into water, slide under. Lift yourself into the air and jump over it. Uh... Keep your nonsense to yourself. <laughs> Thank you very much. Shinyan, why did you lock the door? <laughs> you think I'd know this? <laughs> oh, actually. I usually put my key under the flower pot next to the door, so maybe the key is nearby. So I guess this is like her, her area, or her house, under the flower pot next oh, to the door. Is there a flower pot around oh, here? Oh, a treasure! <laughs> I see a treasure. That's not a flower pot. Mm -hmm, I guess it's worth a shot. I saw the treasure just now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. A door. Unlock door. I need key. Okay, so far there's, there's no enemies. Doesn't really matter who I'm using. Wait, where? Oh, there. Okay, there's a wind current. What do I do here? Is there a guitar? Oh, yeah, there it is. Step on adjacent melodic pedals and light them up. Oh, light them all up to awaken the melodic heart. Give up a unique radiance. Some melodic pedals have special functions. They are special symbols marked by it. Okay. So, wait, I cannot activate this? Oh. Oh, there's a chest here. It's locked. Okay. So, uh, just follow, I guess. Oh, that's a. Uh, I know that sound. I know that music. And then, okay, I get it. <laughs> and then, what is this? <laughs> okay, so now we can use it. What's gonna happen? Oh, I hear music. Yeah, and finally got music. This place really is dedicated <laughs> it's to so music. so quiet just now. Uh, okay, for the treasure box. The treasure chest. Oh, that's so the key. Get the key from the plant. <laughs> oh, the puzzles in Shinyan's Mirage seem way easier than Kazuha's. Yeah, kinda. Well, his life experiences are far richer than mine. <laughs> you flatter me. Yeah, this isn't that tough as Kazuha was complicated a bit. Alright. So now we can go through. Oh, the song is a bit different. Oh, what? Okay. Is there anything here? I never know there might be a chest here and there. Guess not. Where are we going? <laughs> Approach the giant flower. Oh, this? Heck yeah, I wasn't expecting visitors. 
flowers. Blazing heart. I guess the flowers are top. Okay. <laughs> so did the squirrel in the boat. <laughs> drum-like plants growing on the beach outside and we're transported here uh, are you the owner of this place this is the hall of music and i'm <laughs> merely its gatekeeper tell me my friends are you here to pursue the ultimate expression of music <laughs> oh you betcha <laughs> then tell me what do you hope to express with music <laughs> the spirit of resistance right on great answer i'm so glad to hear that i consider myself very lucky to meet another musician with the same ideals hearing giant flowers get along <laughs> well with shinyan people who are easy to get along with make friends wherever they go well if you've made it this far you must wish to venture deeper into the hall of music however i must apologize my singing voice is required for entry but unfortunately my pipes are a little dry are you all right do you need, uh, <laughs> some cold medicine or something? It's just that I haven't had any glacial spring water in a very long time. If I could drink some of that, my voice would be rocked and loaded and ready to clear your path. Uh, glacial spring water? Yeah, with one sip of that, anyone could sing the most beautiful <laughs> song. No matter if they were a weary adult, a sleepy bird, or even an ignorant child. Oh, okay. I'll find some for you. Where is this spring? Oh, thanks. You're the best. Well, spring water helps plants grow up strong so they can scale the mountains that lie in their way. So, I imagine the spring can be found somewhere on the mountain range protected by plants. You mean we have to go hiking? <laughs> oh, Paimon thought some seawater would be enough. Uh, spring water and seawater could not be more dissimilar. Oh, but you may need my powers in order to see the spring. Give me your hand, friend, so that you can see through my eyes. Okay. Thanks. You shook my hand. Guess that makes this friendship official. So what now? I guess Whoa. we're out. Yeah. We're out. Oh, it's much brighter here. I didn't mind that hot cave, though. Glacial spring water can be found on one of the mountains around here. Let's all look for it. Wait, how can there be light coming from below the ground here? Is this uh, I guess a water vein? Uh, according to that flower, the water vein is related to the plants, and the plants will lead us to that spring. <laughs> so I guess we should follow the water veins. <laughs> Oh, we're back to this thing again. Uh, before that, does this move down or? Oh, there we go. I don't remember which way. I'll be wrong. <laughs> God damn this. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing, but I just want to. Never mind, I'll, <laughs> I'll figure that out later. I don't know what. Um, where is this going? Oh shit. Shit, shit. Kinda want the chest here. Yeah. Ouch. 
delve into destiny. Uh, that's a very good. Who says there aren't benefit? I need to switch to this. Let's okay. do a life of wandering. So where am I supposed to go? <laughs> Time to go. Well, the flow of water is blocked here. Is it because of that pile of rocks? Let's remove them. Done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, these things. Oh, even outside, so got okay. I guess uh, from here it will go to there. There's nothing there. Okay. <laughs> Another lot. Everyone, I found a note here. Seemingly waterproof note. Okay. <laughs> Albedo? What? Just enjoy the music and see it. Albedo? Oh, so that's how it is. What an interesting island. Look at this style and signature. It's from Albedo. He's one of our friends from Mondstadt. He's an amazing alchemist who's visited this island before. He oh. left this note here for future adventurers. I guess the previous golden apple, yeah, Albedo follows, right? Oh, so it's him. He's saying this whole island has been turned into an instrument? Amazing! And the <laughs> underground water veins play an important part too. Oh, maybe we need to clear all the water veins to play this island! Ah, uh, clean your instrument before the performance. Makes a lot of sense. Okay. Oh, so this is all albedo stuff. Clear the water veins. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, I guess this will open if we clear it. So I guess we just need to follow. Where's this leading? Above. I guess not this way. You can't go here. Maybe I'll suck. Okay, I guess yeah, you have to climb up probably. Uh, is there another way? <laughs> I don't see the water maybe. Oh wait. Where does this go? Above? Hey, where are you going? Here? I don't think you're supposed to go here. Yeah, we're supposed to. That's the wrong way. Ah, okay, I might get stuck here. Hold on. 
Я не знаю, просто такой. I need to go back down because I need the water vein. Oh. Right, we're back here. Where's the water vein? Oh, okay, I see another guitar here. Uh, and a treasure as well. Oh, okay. Right. Woohoo! Let me hear ya. That has nothing to do with the water being at the clear. Look for the objective. I'm a bit confused where am I supposed to go here? This is all exploration outside, not really the domain yet. <laughs> So wait, where is the uh, water flow thing again? Is that a pond? Uh, Agafia, I'm fine. Alright. Well, I found four apples. But don't worry about that, Zakar. No, I think I already saw this. Okay, let's follow this again. I don't know where am I supposed to go actually. <laughs> Did I miss something inside? This one says go up. Guess we really have to go up manually. The wind knows me. Let's just go this way. Oh, maybe we have to go this way. Time okay. to go. Yeah, this this might be right. This way. Down here. Into the wind. This one. Uh huh. I guess you just have to go up. Oh, the musical note there. Okay. Who says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering? So I guess I cannot. Yeah, I have to activate this. Another one of these, but I need to open the wind current. Okay. What? Ah, oh, I guess I need zombie maybe. Never mind. Uh. 
So I guess I have to... Oh yeah, there's two. Eh? This way? And this way? Okay. Oh my gosh. Who says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering? And then we're going the other way. Can I open it without the wind uh, coming? Ah, oh, that's annoying. Guess how brings only in. A walk would be nice. Crumble. Rise. Okay. There we go. One man's stone is another man's gem. Okay, th this is nothing to do with the quest actually. Let's just go up. Delicious spring water. Oh. This should be the glacial spring water we're looking for. So if you drink this, you can suddenly sing like an angel? You should, should give you it a try if you're curious. Oh no 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 no. I I'm terrible at singing. It would be um extremely embarrassing if it didn't work. Oh Mona. I actually think you've got a sweet voice that's well suited for singing. If you're interested, I can teach you a few things about vocals once we get back to camp. Oh, really? I, I'd love to, but you'd have to promise you won't laugh at me. Of course not. <coughs> Everyone's go. gotta gonna start somewhere, to <laughs> right? <laughs> right. Then maybe I can give it a try. Great. <laughs> but before that, we should deliver the spring water to that flower. Okay. Well, to re-enter the mirage, we just need to touch the drum on the beach again. Okay, so I guess this is the second part then of Simeon's domain. We have to get back there. I mean, we can just teleport. Should I just uh... the threads of your fate lie? I still want to use the four <laughs> just for this quest. <laughs> right, we're going back in, I guess. Because the flower is spring water. Uh, I'm feeling a lot better now. Th 
Thank you very much. Now, I'll send you to your destination. Into the Hall of Music. I actually haven't taken a look around this place. Hold on. <laughs> this reminds me of the chasm a bit. <laughs> this one cannot use it. Eh? Okay, anyway. Open now. Uh, I'm going to lose my hat. This <laughs> scent. I think we've arrived at a mountain near Liyue. But it's so dark here. Wait, listen. There's a voice. Can you hear that? <clears throat> this is creepy. I don't know. Oh, what? Approach the doors where you hear voices. Yeah, this sounds like the chasm. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> okay. The reason the birds sing so sweetly is because they drink the spring water from up in the mountaintops. Shinya, we're not singers in this family. None of us are. What makes you think you can be any different? Oh, so I just need to go drink some of this spring water and then I'll be able to sing? Oh, <laughs> I'll be right back, Mama. It's a memory, I guess. You mustn't stay out so late in the mountains by yourself, child. <clears throat> you scared the bejesus out of me. Here, <laughs> this is the spring water you were looking for. Really? Okay. Oh, where did she run off to this time? To find somewhere she could sing, no doubt. Uh, she can't be persuaded, and we can't stop her from walking out the door. Did you really have to lie to her like that? How was I supposed to know she'd go running off looking for spring water? <coughs> <laughs> when is she gonna come to her senses? So was it a lie? Get down from there! You can't set up a stage here! If you can't sing, you should be keeping your mouth shut, not putting on a public performance. Oh, don't tear down the stage! Of course, the door is still. There's still another one? Oh. Uh, there's three. This doesn't seem like Kenyan, another happy my dear child. Why are you playing that crass instrument again? It's not ladylike. Oh, Shinyan, your mother has asked me to teach you some embroidery when I can find the time. Oh, it's an elegant and enjoyable craft. Just come to Annie's house whenever you're free. Quit making that racket by the side of the road. If you have to play, play something classy. What? Why are they being so mean? Oh, these people. <laughs> Same thing a hundred times. <laughs> Still, thanks, Paimon. Uh, what? Guess the eyes are very How are you doing? Oh, dear child, I've been waiting to hear from you for a long time. This weekend, I'll be free. Auntie, stop thinking about me for a hot sec. Your stove is still on and you're cooking soup, right? Oh, you see, it's all burnt. <laughs> oh, how did this happen? Oh. Oh my, Uncle Jew, Little Jew is playing in the mud by the river again. Didn't you tell him not to do that? What? That rascal is up to his old shenanigans behind my back again, is he? Oh, well, we'll see about that. <laughs> oh, sorry, Uncle High. I'll move my stage someplace else. 
but your musical taste needs to evolve if you want to keep up with the times. Maybe you didn't know, but even the most famous opera singer in Leroy likes listening to my boorish music. What did you say? Is that true? You're not making this up, are you? <laughs> I'll have to look into this. <sighs> They're all gone. See? Knowing the right words <laughs> to say and when to smile can solve almost any problem. <laughs> If that's the case, then what's your rock and roll spirit for? My rock and roll spirit isn't something I just use to win an argument. That'd be a real waste. Rock and roll is a revolution. Transforming your identity and destiny, saying goodbye to concessions and cowardice, it does them all. And most importantly, <clears throat> it lets you do it with art rather than words. My rock and roll has an unbreakable spirit, like a flame in a rainstorm that refuses to go out. Or the magma that never stops boiling under the surface of the land. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's right. go that way. There's a side path right there. What a great mindset you have. If anyone ever called me anything less than a genius, I'd be furious. Really? I'm almost tempted to give it a shot. <laughs> Ona is glaring at me. <laughs> Come on. There's a difference between embracing the spirit of rock and roll and playing with fire. To tell you the truth, I'm also starting to develop an interest in rock and roll. Seriously? Oh, this better not be a joke. No, I'm serious. Rock and roll's ability to cultivate such a strong problem? will in people is an incredible thing. Hold on. Can I rotate anything? Why is this one here? There's probably some secret oh. Can I rotate uh can I rotate anything here? No? This one little thing down here is sus. I can't rotate any of them. Okay. I hope I didn't miss anything. <laughs> Approach the door on the bridge. What is this here? <laughs> await us on the other side, I assume. Let me handle it. Piece of cake. Who is it? Miss, Let your hairstyle play. is really strange. Oh, is that so? I think it looks really cool. Take a closer look if you don't believe me. Your hair sticks out from your head and you wear spiky things in it. Nobody else has hair like that. Well, you're looking at it the wrong way. If I don't look like anybody else, once you've seen me, you won't be able to forget me, even if you try. You'll still recognize me if you ever see me again in the future. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Your clothes, hair, even the way you walk and talk. It's not just for the eyes of others. It's your style. So you should go with whatever you like. Really? But if I wore a jacket with a picture of a puppy on it, people would say, Hey, little Faye likes stupid little puppies. Then you should ignore them. So, you like puppies, huh? <laughs> I do. What about your friends? Well, yeah. 
They do too. <laughs> well, then your friends are gonna love that jacket. Okay. Uh, <coughs> how come you don't do your hair in a nice braid? People would love that. Oh, I can't help myself. I just like the styles with personality. Uh, plus, I had no idea how so many people would dislike it before I started wearing my hair like this. So, why don't you change it now? Well, this hairstyle suits my music and my lifestyle. The regular ones are boring. They're so uninspired. Plus, they get in the way when I'm head bobbing away on stage. <laughs> if people don't like it, that's up to them. I ain't gonna change it. What about your friends? Do they not like it too? Of course they like it. They all say that they think it looks amazing. Your friends are nice to you. That's cool. Not like my friends. They left me here on my own. <laughs> oh, hey now. Why are you crying? What's wrong? You can talk to me. Little Lulu and little Mung. They're ignoring me. We were gonna meet at the docks today, but they still haven't shown up. These kids are way too young to be standing each other up <laughs> like this. No. Stay right here. I'll go take a look around. I'll bring them to you once I find them. Even though it's just uh, oh, illusion. Okay. Oh, what? Thanks, miss. <coughs> I'll never say anything bad about your hair again. See? Now you're talking sense. I'll see you later. Okay. Help little Finn look for his friends. Well... Oh, I see them. Is this little Lulu? Okay. Uh, excuse me, are you little Lulu? Are you looking for me, miss? Didn't you promise to meet little Faye at the docks? Why aren't you going to meet up with him? He's crying because he thinks you've abandoned him. Huh? Oh, that silly dum-dum. Why didn't he just come to look for us? We prepared a surprise gift for him. A surprise gift? How strange! Okay, and where's the other one? Oh, and I cannot play this. Okay. That is Lulu. Okay, that, uh, 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 uh. Can I go up? I didn't mean to fall down. Can I climb up? <laughs> okay. What the hell? I guess I wasn't supposed to go here. Back up. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck in the water. Please help me. I'm under the water. How do I get back? <laughs> Bruh. Can I climb up? No. Can I even climb up the boat? Okay, I can go here. No, I love <laughs> I wonder if there's anything here. Before I go to the next... Uh... Okay, I can't go any further. Oh, I thought I was going to get stuck underwater. <laughs> Excuse me, are you little Mung? Little Faye is waiting for you at the docks. He's been waiting so long now that he's in tears about it. Oh, why is he so dumb? He could have just come here and found us. Oh, uh, never mind. I'll go find him instead. <coughs> he ran off. We should catch up to him. Okay, I found the boat. Preparing a surprise gift for 
you. We didn't think that you wouldn't come to try and find us, and definitely didn't think you'd start crying about it. I'm sorry for being such an idiot. No, I'm sorry. You're not an idiot. I guess we shouldn't have been so secretive about it. We didn't come to the docks to meet you, because we wanted to give you a big surprise for your birthday. Huh? Why else would it be this a surprise? We brought you loads of yummy lotus heads. And here's a handwritten birthday letter from me and Lulu, too. Uh, please don't call our handwriting ugly, okay? <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Thank you. And all's well that ends well. It was all just a misunderstanding. Well, sometimes that's just what friends do. If my friends had ditched me to plan a surprise, I'd have gotten upset too. Is that a hint for us to prepare a surprise for you too? <laughs> Very clever. No, well, I was just speaking my mind. <laughs> I know. I was just joking, seeing if I could give you a fright. Uh, everyone, Paimon's hungry. It's almost lunchtime, so how about we have lunch at my house? It's not far from here. So. Even your house is in this mirage? <laughs> yep. I just noticed. There's the same road in here as the one that leads to my house in real life. Even though we're in a mirage, I reckon some things will always remain the same. In real life, after a bad quarrel with the neighbors or a disappointing show, the one place I'll always go is my house. Because, well, everyone has to go home eventually. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess now we can play the... Yeah, alright. <laughs> Need to rotate anything? I hope not. Even if you can, I think there's a secret somewhere. Hey, go far. Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess this is the house. <clears throat> Here we are. Please come in. Make yourselves at home. No need to take off your shoes. Thank you for your hospitality. Oh, chairs. We can finally <laughs> unwind for a bit. Huh? Actually, uh, did you house. guys hear a sound coming from the other room? Oh, you all keep resting here. I'll go have a look. This is just a mirage, though. No, the lights aren't even on. And there's no one. Uh -oh. Whoa! Dun dun dun! Happy birthday! <laughs> What are you two doing? Why are you sitting in the dark inside my house? You scared the bajesus out of me. <laughs> Yunjin, you were totally right. She does get spooked. It's your birthday, so we planned a surprise party for you. <laughs> you girls really shouldn't pull these pranks while pretending <laughs> to be all sweet and innocent. Huh? <laughs> Come on now, what's wrong with that? Who says that being cute and innocent means you can't pull pranks? Back me up, Xiangling. Totally, Yunjin. Goba pulls pranks on me all the time, too. All right, all right. You win. <laughs> Beidou needs to do something today, so she has asked me to deliver her gift to you. So, here they are. A custom-made dagger and a score of a composition from abroad. As for my offerings, I have these gold hairpins and iron hair ties custom-made for you by my family. Iron hair ties? You're telling me that your family used their 1,000 years worth of experience to make hair ties? What's the problem? Hair ties may look simple and unassuming, but they actually require a lot of intricate craftsmanship to make. <laughs> My gift is one of a kind. A little while ago, I came across a bespectacled blacksmith on the street. The way he worked and talked, it felt almost like he could see right through stones. I was skeptical, so I asked him to help me make a bet. And when the merchant cracked the stone open, there was indeed a piece of raw jade inside. <laughs> I took the jade on the spot and ground it into a 
pendant, which I then strung on a cord. You can use it as an accessory. Wow. You made a jade pendant for me? Yeah. Oh, uh, don't wear it around your neck. Put it on your guitar. Every day I see how much you pamper that guitar. So I thought you should jazz it up a bit. I don't know if I can bring myself to hang this thing anywhere except in a display case on an altar. Thank you, Xiangling. You're so thoughtful. <laughs> Xiangling has always been thoughtful. But the blacksmith you mentioned, who could see through stones, can you tell me more about him? If the story's interesting enough, <laughs> I might have to put it into my play. I'm not exactly sure, but I hear that he was sick for a while and was so disoriented during that time that he couldn't remember anything and felt as if his body didn't belong to him. And then, all of a sudden, he recovered. He's all fine now, except for some reason. He can now tell the difference between valuable and worthless stones just by looking at them. Hmm. That's certainly peculiar. That no, let's not get see. into that. <laughs> the food is getting cold. Let's eat. <laughs> Wait, Xinyan, didn't you pick up a trick from an outlander merchant? The one you taught me on my last birthday. Huh? Oh, you mean making a birthday wish? <laughs> yes, that's the one. They also light candles and cut cakes in other regions. But we didn't have time for that because we were too busy bringing the food over. <laughs> it's fine. I can just use my imagination. Okay, let's count to three and you can make a wish. One, two, three. <laughs> what should I wish for this year? My wish is... Oh. Uh, oh, I'm back. What happened? Paimon was just peering through the crack in the door. Given that we are in a mirage, Xinyan, did anything significant happen inside the house? Paimon knows! Paimon knows! She ran into some of yeah. her friends who were throwing her a birthday party! Uh, yes, I heard all that. I mean, something she did herself. She was wishing for something. Oh! I made a wish! Yeah. It's pretty interesting now that I think about it. When I entered the room, I found Shang Ling and Yun Jin, two of my best friends. That actually happened in real life. They paid me a surprise visit on my birthday, set a table with delicious food, and persuaded me to make a birthday wish. Xinyan, what was your wish? My wish was to perform with someone completely unexpected. Hmm, I wonder who this unexpected person might be. I've just figured it out. Oh, you already know the answer? Mm-hmm. However, before I tell you the answer, I'd like to clear the water veins that flow through the mountains. Alright, let's continue clearing. Oh, there's two. Okay. Where do I start? Uh. What are you see the chills running around? Okay. Ah, oh, got it. Decided by destiny. Shadows of fate. No rest for the wicked. Okay. Anyway. Where is uh oh yeah here it is Isn't this the same one? Oh no, this is different. Okay. So I think all correct already.
wonder why you can rotate. But it doesn't do anything. Oh wait, what? Oh, you need both. Wait, how? You need two nodes. So from here and here. Okay. So I guess... This doesn't rotate. Is this... Oh, that's it. Does this go there? No. <laughs> I don't get it. No, I need to adjust this. Oh, two times. Okay, like that. Allah. There's more here. Uh huh. Pretty good. Go higher. Time to go. There's a chest there. There's a lot of chests here. Uh -huh. That isn't clear? Okay, yeah, it does. Let me take this down. the other way. the water flow right here.
Alright. Back to the water. What is this? Oh, I need to do... What is this? Pocket watch. Oh, I can't it. What? Oh, okay. Just one. Hold on. Oh, it starts from here. Okay. This doesn't seem right. Okay. Sunset, yes. <laughs> I guess we just yeah. have to go. Delve into destiny. Odd, reveal thyself. Power core. I didn't expect more uh, of the outer world. <laughs> what was that? This go. Shadows of fate written in the stars. Time to go. Where are you going? Okay. Says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering. Have to go here.
says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering? How high are we supposed to go here? Oh, here, okay. Uh, let me take this first. Brings a smile to my tip. There we go. Talk to everyone in the center. Okay. Wow. I was expecting more of the domains that's gonna make me stop. We've done everything <laughs> we can, but how do we deal with the last two mountains? Let's stick to it. There's gotta be a way. After taking a closer look, it seems to me that most of the island mountains contain water veins and plants in their interior. Those together form a system that connects the mountains with one another. However, now that much of the mountains have collapsed, the connection of plants and water veins is blocked. If we can dredge all the blockages, we'll be able to connect the islands to form the giant instrument described in Albedo's notes and play music using the islands themselves. Yep, for me to reach my goal, we gotta do this. But first, I'd like to consult the flower. It should know what to do. Consult the flower. Guess we're going back again. Okay, I hope this is the last one. It seems easier than Kazuha's, but longer. <laughs> Some of the plants and water veins on the island mountains have been lost. Do you happen to know another way to dredge the blockage? I know someone who can help you with that. Go ask my companion, Frozen, Frozen Soul. Soul, who lives upstairs. Frozen Soul, I guess it's a uh, cryo flower. Okay, finally we can perform. So, from here, goes here. Goes up. Oh, okay. Okay. Where am I supposed to go here? Another drum. Oh. Oh, what? That closes the. I guess we have to uh, hit again so that we can trigger the guitar. Just to see. So, how do we do it? Okay, that's frozen soul, I guess. A door. Hey, we can, we can open the door? <laughs> okay. Is that go. another drum? I guess I'll think about that later. Who are you? Yeah, of course. And what brings you to me? Nice to meet you. We were wondering if you could use your power to dredge the mountains on the island. Mountains? Oh, I see. You want to become great musicians too. Right. Oh, is that what this is about? Correct. In that case, we seek the same thing. <laughs> Despite my frailty, I feel obligated to share some of my power with you. Plant my pedal at the ending point of the intersection of melodies. And what had once sunk into the earth will re-emerge with the music. As long as there is music, life will continue to flourish in this world. Oh, thank you! Wait, are we going out again? Already? 
Really? That was a shot? I guess we're not done. Done for the source battle. Oh, well, that was easy. Time to go. Okay. This ought to do the trick. Ooh. Oh, there's a sound coming from the island. Use the powers of frozen soil. Oh, you have to go back down. <laughs> I guess we go back in. <laughs> okay. Change mountain star. Oh, we're not going to aim. Clear the water veins on the island. Wait, what? Time to go. I'm going this one first. Time to go. This is not what I expected for uh, this domain. I'm not doing the challenges yet. Oh, there's no to do. Huh? How is that wrong? Oh, there we go. Okay, one more time. For whatever reason this is. Oh, what? What did that do? Oh, I see. Okay. There we go. Holy shit, that was quick. Okay. What does that do? That's a scene, right? Okay, never mind. The puzzles I'll do another time. Let's just... <laughs> Clear the water eyes, whatever. Water veins. Uh huh, what is that? I don't think I've seen that before. Oh, it's crabs, okay. It's like, what the heck is that? Uh, hold on. I was going to say, is there a faster way to go up? <laughs> Any animal. That 
That saves so much time. Climbing up. Brings a smile to my face. <laughs> Okay, that should clear it. There's music. Back to the center. In the game. <laughs> Where is Fisher and all this? Oh, no, no. Can you feel anything now that we've planted the petal? Yes, I can feel it. The sun is shining brightly. The sea gleams like a gemstone. The waves lap the milky white beaches. And the grains of sand are pulled into the sea, then pushed back ashore. The seabirds are landing on the rocks, pecking gently and making rhythmic sounds. Da dum, da dum, da dum. It's music. This is indeed music. In fact, this whole island is a giant musical instrument. Since you are a musician, you should be able to understand the meaning behind its original creation. <sighs> Making music with the tides, waves, and sea breeze as your instruments is the most romantic thing in the world! Let's go, everyone! It's time for my performance! Are we in already finishing Sinyan's... Kazuha! Can you feel the wind? Which direction is it blowing in? It's coming from that direction. I'll take you to a hill where the wind blows. We can just... Time to go! <sighs> Finally! The time has come! Everyone? I once made a wish to perform with someone no one could have expected. And today, on this island, I found my answer. No one knows the name or appearance of the man who transformed this island into a giant musical instrument so many years ago. But he is unquestionably one of <laughs> Devad's greatest musicians. I never imagined I'd be able to see such an instrument. And I never imagined we'd be able to play it during a high tide. No. Music is the gift one gives to their kindred spirit, so I'll play something that makes for a better duet with the original musician. No rock music for today. Instead, I'm gonna show you something new. Oh. <laughs> to you who lived here in the past, I hope you like this song. <laughs> I've never heard a duet like that before. It was very interesting. And so elegant as well. I'm oh, not sure how best to put it, but it was just super unique. <laughs> Thank you. And now I can say my wish has come true. Is there anything else you'd like to do? No. In fact, I reckon I'll get a good night's sleep tonight. Does this mean everyone is free for the time being? If so, I have a suggestion. I'd like to return to the Fatui camp and see what's going on there. 
Oh, so you've discovered the Fatui camp as well. I was gonna say, those two did doesn't know. I guess they discovered that too. Wait, you know about it too? Yeah. What? Of course, I'm a genius astrologist. Oh, that makes Didn't sense. Didn't I mention that my scry glass has recovered a little? I can sense what's going on here through divination. Uh, I didn't know the Fatui were here too. Okay, Sinya didn't know. Indeed. I also informed Fischl of this when we parted ways today. If she runs into them, she'll stay hidden and out of danger. I see. You have no news about Fatui. Then perhaps so we far. should tell everyone what we know. Tell everyone about the Fatui camp and the strange machine. A strange machine and delirious Fatui? Are you suggesting these are connected to the Mirage? I can't say I'm certain, mm. but I don't believe they're completely unrelated. Fair enough. Let's go check out the camp. We're not done yet? Okay, check the Victoria machine. <laughs> Let's see. Well, they probably abandoned the island right now. Guess not. Well, uh, I kind of seen this from Risa's world, but I didn't think it would be like now. But the machine is not working, right? Whoa, where did they come from? Oh boy. That about? <laughs> strange that on our way here, we've only run into local monsters and no Fatui. How bizarre. There are still signs of the camp and the machine is still here, but all the people have vanished. What's with this aura? Machine it must have something to do with the mirages. It's broken, but maybe that's the cause. But if the machine can cause people to hallucinate, why did they vanish? Did they disappear or are they hiding from us? Oh, I give up. I'm just going to divine the answer. <laughs> Mona's just basically gonna Google. And? Hmm. What's this? Some kind of energy flow? Sorry, everyone. I can't seem to find any trace of the Fatui. My scry glass has gotten hazy again, but this time, I can sense some sort of energy converging and taking physical form. The destination is... the island over there. Whose mirage will it be this time? Hm. Let's head over and have a look. Maybe we'll be able to find something there. Is this still part 3? Oh man, it's not over. Wait, how far? This one. They say no for Tui, but they were for Tui, I think I just know. Oh, it's Fisher! Here we are. Huh? Fisher? It's been a day. <laughs> <clears throat> Main Fräulein and I sensed a peculiar aura and came here ahead of time to reunite with everyone. We weren't expecting you. Well, what I mean to say is, you arrived sooner than we expected. So, Fischer saw something. Or does I seem nervous? The advent of the Imanuk Reich is imminent, and I still need to prepare for the consecration. Main Fräulein, are you sure you? I am quite capable of acting on my own, Oz. If you are weary of the encroaching darkness of the night, you are quite welcome to return to the blinding brightness of the day. Please, Main Fräulein, do not say such things. I am your loyal attendant, your eyes, 
and I will never leave your side. Stop staring at me like that. I... Hmm? Anyway, the time of explanation is not yet upon us. Hm. Oh, main Fräulein. I do apologize, everyone. Main Fräulein is having a rough day. Please, do not take it to heart. I must also excuse myself now. Huh. Still no improvement in her mood, even after all this time away from the group. As soon as I saw Official, I realized that the mirage that's about to take shape here must have something to do with her. Yes. I at least felt a peculiar sense of familiarity when I approached my mirage. Me too. Even though it didn't really make sense, <laughs> didn't I make just sense. had a feeling that something exciting was gonna happen. But Official's one is it? Exactly. If Fish and Dawes something. can also sense something, then our suspicions are likely to be right on the Mora. Fischl's probably agitated because she doesn't want to confront her mirage. How come? Maybe her mirage conceals some secrets that she doesn't want anyone to know about. Let's all take a rest here for now. When the mirage appears, we will get to the bottom of this mystery. So I guess we're done for now. Yep, okay. Oh man, so I guess Fischl's mirage is next. Ah, the island stirring strings. So wait, next one is Fischl and the last one is Mona. Okay. Well, uh, I think that's it for now. I will continue Fischl's one next time. I heard Fischl's one is gonna be difficult maybe but I yeah I don't know really but yeah this was easier than uh, Kazuha's one but a lot of exploring outside <laughs> just to clear the water nothing much in that domain okay so next one will be Fisher's domain that's part four so that's it for now guys thank you guys for watching See you guys next time.